Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you will learn what is row, column, cell, and range in Microsoft Excel. Here in the screen, you can see Microsoft Excel is opened. At the left side of screen, you can see these horizontal lines given by numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. These are called the rows. Here you can see the vertical lines given by alphabets, like A, B, C, D, and so on. These are called the columns. At the intersection point or the cross point of each column and row, there you see a small rectangular shaped box, which is called the cell. All these small boxes are the cells here. The cells have their own name. As the cell is formed at intersection point of column and row, it is named from the column name and row number. For example, if you select this cell, it is in the F column and 7th row. So, name of this cell is F7. The name you can see here in the name box. If I select different cells, you can see its name here in the name box. The cell is the container of data. In each cell you can enter a type of data. It can be a text value, number value, date, symbol or a combination of number, text and symbol. By entering data or information in these cells, we create and manage our data. In every sheet, there are total 1.048 million rows and 16,384 columns available. This you can see by pressing Ctrl plus down arrow key in keyboard. Here you see the last row number. Four columns. Press Ctrl plus right arrow key. Here you see the last column is XFD. If we count it all, it is 16,384. Let's see how we can enter data in Excel. I will create here a small data of item-wise sales quantities for different months. So, this is how data is entered in Excel. Now let's understand what is range. Range is the group of cells. If you select from A1 cell to D5 cell, this is a range. Name of this range is A1 to D3. So this is all about the concept of row, column, cell and range in Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, stay connected by subscribing this channel. See you soon.